thousand tenths of a normal um, contrail, a quote unquote normal contrail is online, which I have done, and exhaust coming from jet engines, whether let's just take all the chemical stuff out of it or the geoengineering stuff out of it for a second, and and assume that it is nothing but you know sheer exhaust from a jet engine. Um, look up the contents. It's not just these benign ice crystals that you're seeing up there. The, the um, chemical makeup of that is toxic in and of itself. There's so many toxins in a quote unquote normal contrail that it's ridiculous. And if anybody thinks that they're just these benign little pretty ice crystals, they are sadly mistaken. Now you add some of the geoengineering elements into that and they're, you know, become even more toxic. Right, like your standard kerosene heater, if you've ever heated your house with a kerosene heater, that's what's being burned. So there's a lot of soot there. There's a lot of highly toxic chemicals that are products of combustion. Exactly. And you have a definite delineation. Like if you if you stick this up on a logic model and you're trying to just put points on it and get some data out, um, you definitely reach a point where you have other, other incidences you can compare this to, like a BP and core exit. And you've got to wonder, you know, what are these people doing? Have they, are they industrial people that are into this population reduction and they're the byproducts of all this technology they're trying to acquire? If it's produced toxic uh, byproducts of the manufacturing of whatever they're making, be it, you know, high technology uh, craft or some sort of weapon system or anything else, are they spraying those byproducts uniformly across the globe and also obscuring, you know, people's... Uh, sunlight as well as their ability to look into the night sky and and at least see if there's something out there. You know, it's sort of like a, a big gray area that could be a blob attached to two or three different things, all of which are kind of horrendous. Right. Right. Good point. All right, Ron, it was so good of you to check in with us, and we're so glad you're doing well. Was there anything else you wanted to add? Not right off the bat, girl. Just uh, keep on top of it. Keep hanging that science uh, out in front of the people and let them um, follow you down the road. I think you're doing great. All right. Thank you. Hey, we, we love you, Ron. Missed your show today, um, but we'll be tuned in next week, eh? Okay there, Rose. Uh, thank you so much, and I'm sorry I missed you guys, but I'll give you a great uh, power-up next week, and, and we'll, we'll do it again, okay? All right. Okay, my friend. I'll see you. All right. Hey, Bye-bye. Hey, guys. guys. Let me butt in here real quick. Um, being somebody that spent about 500 hours in the air and I also designed some aircraft, uh, be it RC planes that can carry around dogs, but <laughs> the average air temperature at 35,000 feet, which is where most of the planes fly, 35 to, to uh, 40,000, um, usually runs about 40 to 60 degrees below zero. And when you get a, a heavy air compression on the front airfoil, um, that will start making a contrail. Um, you don't get that a lot in the summer, um, but you will get it heavy in the winter. But the contrail, the difference between the contrail and the chemtrail is the contrail typically plows off the tip of the wing. So, you know, if you get binoculars on the thing, you can usually tell the difference. They'll either plow off the tip of the wing or the tip of the, uh, the stabilizer. Excellent. Thank you, Nighthawk. And I will be peeling out my binoculars to note exactly that. Cheers, mate. Key, I understand no, I've you have got a, a question I've got a, Yeah, we've got a question from chat here. Um, we've been asked why they are doing this. Bonnie, can I put that one to you? What's your opinion on this? I'm sorry, I, I didn't... If you're speaking to me, I couldn't hear you. Okay, sorry, Bonnie. Um, having mic problems today. Just, we have a question from chat, and... Um, the question is, why are they doing this? Do you have an opinion on that? Uh -huh. Oh, it does It does lead to this, doesn't it? It's inevitable. Uh, and this is where it just, you know, I, I have, when I do a program publicly, and of course this question has to come up because our common sense clicks in and we say, wait a minute, what, why? Um, it seems to me that there might be many purposes and for myself, it of course it matters uh, what it is and why they're doing it. But when I'm trying to just get people to look at the sky, 
if I head off into something like population control, I've lost them. So, and I don't know what the purposes are. I, I mean, I certainly, uh, today I'm still kind of reveling in having been, been an artist and enjoying my poem and the dance, but, you know, <laughs> if I must be led back here, I don't know. I really don't know, and I, I just know that my instinct is and my native intelligence says this is really wrong, this is really dangerous, this is suffocating what the intentions are of those who are perpetrating it, whether it's population control or annihilation or, uh, you know, whatever their motivations are, I utterly disapprove of them, not that they care about my opinion of them, obviously, clearly, <laughs> but I, you know, I just, whatever it is, it's, it's just wrong in terms of my personal perceptions, and you know, I, it, it, and that sounds arrogant, who cares what my opinion is anyway, really, I mean, I'm just one more of, of the many, but I like breathing, and breathing is very important to me, and I can see that they are obstructing my breathing, they are I'm contaminating me, these uh, trails, the intention and is, is it has to be to, to uh, contaminate me and all of life on the earth, not just me, all beings on the earth. Um, and that's what I take exception to, even if I can't fully comprehend whether it is, um, you know, I, I, are we going to go to the reptilians here or the aliens? You know, what direction are we going to go? I find that I... It doesn't help me particularly, except to know that this is wrong and I want it to stop. Um, where are you both with this? I, I'm kind of along the same lines as you are. You know, I read all of the excuses that uh, the geoengineering experts, you know, want to give for doing this global warming, um, to mitigate solar radiation from from solar flares, you know, all all these things, and it just to me. If you're trying to do something good, but yet you're hurting so many people, is it really the right solution? You know, because obviously what they're spraying is toxic to human health. It's having effects on our plant life, our soil, our water, you know, the very air that we breathe. Um, there's an increase in illnesses, a drastic in increase, I might add, of illnesses related to the chemical elements that have been known to be used in these trails. So um, that alone should tell people, you know, something. And if we're having all of this drastic increase in elements, who benefits from that? You know, I kind of tend to follow the dollar, you know, and see where that leads. Well, who's going to benefit from all these sick people? Well, doctors and big pharma, big pharma being probably the number one, you know, person out there, another hugely um, mainstream corporate owned type thing. So um, obviously I think that they know that it has effects on human health and, and they obviously don't care. So whether their population control is intended or not, it's still there. You know, I mean, those are the types of things that I think of rather than try to figure out exactly what their agenda is because obviously they're not forthcoming about any of it. They've been right. lying and denying, you know, the whole entire step of the way. I mean, we're just now starting to find things out kind of subtly, you know, where there's a subtle admittance of this stuff going on when we've been used to blatant denial for so long, hmm. you know. So that's kind of where, where I stand. They're obviously being secret about it, you know, um, follow the dollar, you can see who's benefiting from it. But beyond that, I don't think I need to know what their reason is to know that what they're doing is wrong, just yeah. totally and completely wrong. Where do you stand on that, Rose? Well, <coughs> excuse me, I have to constantly clear my throat. We've just been hit so hard with particulate lately. Um, there's a war going on, folks. There's a war going on and they haven't told you. And, um, you know, this is on our mind, our body, and our soul. I just want to be able to breathe again. You know, I'm, I'm getting quite emotional here, actually, today. I, I have a daughter that I have to watch constantly, you know, battling with, with, with her little lungs. I have uh, small animals in my house that, that, that their health is just progressively getting worse. You know... It doesn't matter why they're doing it. I think at the end of the day, we all know they are. So what are you doing about that? 
you know, what are you doing? We're banging our heads against brick walls trying to deal with these governments. It's time we remove them. There, there's nothing more to be done. You know, they're corrupt. Everything goes back into their pockets. It's the bankers, it's Monsanto, it's the pharmaceutical companies. You know, Hollywood's feeding this. We're being fed huge lines of propaganda that have been going on and on forever. You know, brilliant researchers are being taken down rabbit holes and being distracted from the real issues here. We've all been down the rabbit holes. But uh, the day that I woke up and saw these, these trails in the sky, that was it. This is their weapon. This is how they are, are feeding us the biologicals. <clears throat> people are sick. You know, we're losing people. We've had people killed in Christchurch, out and out murder, you know, um, Japan, now the United States. It, 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 we, it's time to stand up. It's time to group. Um, that's all I have to say. I, I, have to, I have to back off before I start getting really <laughs> angry. <laughs> that's okay. We have a caller, Rose. Welcome, caller. How can we help you? Do you have a question for our guest? What, yes, a question and a comment. Can you hear me okay? Yes, who is who are we speaking to? Uh, my name is Debbie and I'm from Virginia. Hi Debbie. And I just wanted to say um I, 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 um I have I need to go through that um is it the stop spraying california dot org website that's so uh, good on information. Um but I'm in Virginia and we um they were spraying us really heavy the two weekends and particularly July fourth weekend. And so I printed out some information sheets and was out handing it out in the crowd. And, you know, not a single person, not a single person knew what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, which is just, you know, it's like, look up, look up. And then um, so I called our air quality control board uh, in Richmond, which is our uh, capital, of course, and then out here in my local area. And um, they said, well, you know, we're into smog and particulates. And I said, well, these are particulates, as I understand. You know, it's aluminum particulates in there. Aren't you to protect us, our air quality, you know? Um, Virginia, you know, has always been kind of like Texas um, where, well, like when they uh, were talking about the Obamacare, um, that Virginia voted that uh, Virginians did not have to sign up. And, you know, different things. And I was like, you know, wouldn't you all fight the EPA? As I understand, the EPA is doing this to, you know, for uh, global concerns. And they just, you know, pointing fingers right, left, and, and everywhere. Um, so I guess the, the question I wanted to ask was, like, in our, you know, the, what are they spraying CD, which was so excellent that it was testing the pH of the soil, but can these, um, these things be...